Hi, this is uh, Dan Gerrison from from App Member Site, and in this video, I'll show you how I would set up the the value sequence of creating pages for the users of Optimus Express, what they need to know, and that kind of things. Uh, if you want to have more videos around this topic, go to appmembersite.com slash free and get some of these uh, videos about how to set up membership site, how to set up Optimus Express and all those kind of things. So uh, before we get started, make sure you have installed Optimus Express. Uh, if not, go get it uh, here. And uh, you should have a video for, for the pages, uh, a sales video that we want to show for the, to the user. And you should have an autoresponder to that we can link together with this. Uh, I guess this is not as important, uh, but it's probably a good idea to, to do have that. But let's get started. So here we have the the optimized press, and we want to create the the value vi videos first. Let's see, I've created one here. And let's just delete this one and create a new one. So we we'll click value one. Uh, let's give the the title of this is just one in here. World of PI is changing. And then it comes with uh, UL. We want to change that. Uh, I do like it easier with with this because then I know when I'm communicating with it which kind of pages it is. And here we can write some text. Excuse my English. I'm not. <coughs> <coughs> So good at it. Um, and this should just be a sales letter, uh, standard. And well, then let's. So if we, when we select this, we should select this one also. And let's first put in the video here, activate video. Uh, and here we get now oh, the squeeze video. We don't want that one. We want this one. For for this, it doesn't matter. Uh, the autoplay is on. Um, it's a bit irritating to to use when you're sitting and and developing. So that's why I'll unselect it. For here, we want to have the header on. Um, and comments options activate comments yeah, Facebook the Facebook because that will make it hopefully people would share it and that will mean they'll pop up on their Facebook pages and then when they click that link on the Facebook page they will go back to our autoresponder and then they can get in that way uh, opt in option we don't need that one uh call to action delayed buttons we don't need that social media settings share this video Probably a, a long uh, Twitter title. Well, we'll see. Share this video. Facebook share icon. And I think this is okay. 
let's see what it looks like. So here we have this uh, share the video, comments, and that's basically it um, for for these uh, videos. Um, now we have created the the first video, and we want to to activate this uh, gateway nav bar and show launch titles uh, update probably shouldn't se select these ones in in the beginning because that will give some some changes and make sure you have to use uh, the right setting so let's just copy to new draft And we'll call this value da da two. Who who would have guessed? And because we've copied it, all the settings is the same. Obviously, we need to to change the URL. I haven't created this video yet, so that'll be a bit difficult. So now we have created uh, two value videos. Uh, maybe if we refresh this one, it'll say a lot of things about it's not included and we haven't installed that yet so let's go to the launch funnel configuration and I, you can select either one of these uh, I do like the perceptual evergreen one uh, because then I can it's the same information I need to send all the time to the users a uh, number of launch pages that would be three I have two plus a sales video coming soon theme uh, thumbnail I will select this one Squeeze page, the squeeze page is our front page. Didn't we say? Uh, enable gateway system. And at the moment, the one page should be redirecting to, should be the one number of current launch panel column. Update configuration, and then we have the launch page setup. I think we I didn't save this one. Uh, just go back here and get it, publish it or whatever. I didn't publish. Well, this PSG. Oh, okay. It there there. Just to, to trash this one. So I'm not meaning up. So, so we have the value video one, this one, and the value video two here. So we do have them. Uh, so the first one, the world is PI is changing. Inactive link name. So, so this is what will be is that spell correct? Will be when this page is not uh, available. Uh, let's just go. Put the single page there as this this third, and that will be the sales video. Um, then here we will select 
creating scenarios. And we have to select an image for playing the video. Watch it now. Um, so we'll be saving here. And then see here what happens here. We get to value one and we have not logged in and ha hasn't got our cookies. So it will just redirect us back to the starting page. And let's just sign it. Hopefully this will work. So we can see here it's calling with, with this uh, URL set user. Mm -hmm. And then we can see these uh, videos coming up here. And we have the, the Twitter and the Facebook share and that's, that's good. And so whenever we're sending emails or putting forms, we need to put it for, for this one. So when the next thing is when we have to send it out the, the second video, we'll put it like this. And then we can see both of the videos and what they should be like. And for the launch uh, sales page, probably it's not that relevant because there you don't want all these extra information <clears throat> that people can go and click through and get through another part, part of. So there it should be a bit more simple about getting the relevant information that, that you want. So uh, that was uh, basically how to set up a launch funnel and getting all the things in place to, to be ready to, to launch your, your products and videos uh, for, for this uh, tool. So uh, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video and uh, do sign up at appmembersite.com slash free to get even more videos about how to create uh, membership sites online and i'm looking forward to to share more information with you then until we meet again goodbye